पेज मेकर लेटेस्ट डी जी आई सी हाइपर पैरामीटर डॉट एस टी एम एल यू हैव टू गो टू दिस डॉक्स ओके हेयर इन दिस डॉक्स यू हैव टू गो इन साइड हाइपर पैरामीटर वट वी आर डूइंग इज वी आर इमेज क्लासीफिकेशन हाइपर पैरामीटर दिज आर द इमेज क्लासीफिकेशन हाइपर पैरामीटर वी आर सर्चिंग फॉर इट सो द पैरामीटर नेम इज नम क्लासेज सो वी विल कम ओवर हेयर दैट इज नम क्लासेज ओके सो आई हैव टेकन सम ऑफ द पैरामीटर्स फ्रॉम हेयर so you you by yourself can go through all of these and maybe if you want to increase or decrease the parameter you can play with them okay so what i am not uh, betting on is uh, these are uh, the best value for the parameter i cannot say because my uh, focus is to maybe show you uh, how to uh, maybe use a flow or maybe how to apply things in real life so i cannot work uh, with everything okay now uh, our task is from here is to create unique job name okay so we have to create some unique job name uh, so these uh, unique job name will be used when we train the model okay so uh, when we will be configuring the model then these unique job name will be useful okay uh, you can uh, maybe find out uh, for a particular job you can give a job name and you can uh, find out uh do job names while you are training your model okay so the model is uh, cancer uh, it is inside cancer uh, detection huh? so why i am using this uh, i am using this for the prefix okay so you will get it when i will uh, maybe write the whole code and then from here i will uh, take the time stamp so i cannot write uh, different uh, uh, maybe uh, what we can say uh, 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 what i can say different name for different uh, file so what i am doing is i am uh, giving a time stamp uh, to every name so that uh, based on time stamp uh, that name will be different okay so that's the analogy which i am using over here so right now what i am doing is i am uh, uh, maybe walking you through my mind and what i am uh, what uh, maybe a machine learning engineer or data scientist will do when you will get uh, some problem like this okay so uh, now we are uh, grand meridian time uh, we are accessing and uh, the format is uh, is maybe hours minutes seconds uh, year months and day okay that's the format okay so what i will do i will maybe concatenate it and uh, i will concatenate into a job name okay job name variable then uh, job name prefix i will take from here okay and uh, i will maybe put it uh, in front of time stamp okay so this code executed uh, now what i will do i will specify input path okay for the for this job okay just i have to give it a input path okay so what i will do i will maybe point out uh, uh, s3 bucket uh, we have to work with okay and uh, uh, so what i have to do simply i have to point out this s3 bucket we have to work with this s3 bucket we have made this s3 bucket free in in our past videos no so we have to maybe i have to work with it then i have to point it out okay uh, this is how i will tell like uh, uh, this is the bucket Uh, we will be working with okay so this is the bucket name uh, as you can see from here this is the bucket name is uh, seek maker data mb and then after that uh, what i can do is uh, i can again i am putting this as a prefix okay input prefix so wheresoever uh, 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 the input file will be stored uh, this is location where record io file are okay so let's see uh, input prefix so cancer so detection uh, slash input uh, slash record ah yeah okay this is where the input files are i guess okay so uh, cancer detection input and record ah yeah okay this is the input prefix so i will add somewhere uh so uh, this is input and again inside this input uh you will uh, maybe find the same thing record io okay 
so that is the thing important record i assume okay uh, so uh, from here i will do uh, this is the prefix thing which i will use this is the bucket uh, which uh, i want to say like this is the bucket uh, 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 which will save all of our in input and output data and uh, which will be maybe useful uh, to make make apis uh, from here uh, then now what i have to do i have to uh, maybe uh, uh, define a full s3 path for train and test data set okay so i am defining it uh, so i have to give a full path so that will be uh, s3 then these things then this thing then train and then after that uh, format ah uh, you can use as a string too i am using format uh, you might be thinking it is very old but okay i am okay with it you can use app string and if you really want to use app string you can use seriously you can use app string like this so write app over here and wherever you want to write uh, write like this and uh, put this uh, bucket inside here okay so your code will look like this something like this like this okay so then you will maybe put backslash over here then like this then again here you can uh, put uh, uh, i guess input uh, underscore prefix yeah like this okay you can do uh, do like this but uh, again i am following the old convention you can follow the uh, new convention um, until or unless the code is running uh, we both are fine okay no problem this is input train uh, this will be input uh, test i guess Uh, test and after that the format will be same bucket uh, the bucket is sage maker data mb you can directly put it over here but uh, okay uh, this is a good convention to work with and then this is input prefix again you can put this prefix over here but uh, yeah uh, then i will maybe run it okay so uh, what i have done what is this uh, this is specifying input path for the job so this is the input path for the job okay this is the input path for the job why this is the input path how, how to relate it so uh, inside cancel detection we are inside the input folder okay so you will get the input from these folders this is what we are trying to say okay so because if i will go into record io there will be a train and test and inside this there will be dot rec extension uh, file okay so this is having all the records 20.1.1 uh, mb okay so this is having all the records that's why we are saying this is the input file okay so uh, jargon will be specifying input path for the job and uh, just i have given you the intuition uh, what is uh, like what is the crux uh, behind the uh, jargon okay then this is the input and then we have to specify the output path okay then again uh, what you have to do is uh, uh, you have to determine the uh, output prefix so i will maybe write it output prefix and cancel detection there is no record io and now what i am doing is i am writing here output okay yeah uh, output yeah that will work and then we are having some output path so let's write it by ourselves output uh, path uh, output path and after that uh, again uh, same thing we have to do we have to uh, give it a full path and uh, let's see how it goes then i will show you uh, what different thing are happening uh, here in sage maker okay so let me take you here inside cancer detection folder and here you can see we are having input only okay so here we are making output too so let's say uh, format then we have uh, bucket and then we have okay yeah we can take bucket over here and then uh, i have depend the bucket over here okay so uh, it will take uh, its uh, uh, string from this bucket and then uh, we can use the output prefix okay yeah that's the thing so i have uh, done this uh, again uh, it will reflect back after some time okay so up till then uh, i will maybe try to uh, configure train instances uh, training instances okay 
so we have uh, for the job uh, we have defined the job we have given different name to the job uh, we have defined the hyperparameters by ourselves and then uh, we have defined the uh, maybe uh, the uh, we have specified the input path for the job we have been uh, specified output path for the job uh, so input path means uh, from where we will take the data output path means for for uh, where we will save our results okay that's the crux so now uh, our job uh, now from here what i have to do i have to configure training instances okay then for configuring uh, configuring uh, training instances uh, one thing uh, you have to always keep in your head is you have to keep pricing in your head okay why to keep pricing in your head i will uh, maybe explain you uh, so uh, uh, first uh, i will configure training instances okay so instance count uh, first you need to tell how many instances you will use okay so if uh, if i will put this instance count to maybe more than one uh, so it will be used for uh, maybe uh, it will be used for training but uh, if i will put it uh, maybe more than one so what will happen you might be thinking so it will enable distributed training okay so right now we don't uh, require distributed training then i am putting instance count uh, as one and then i will say instance type and instance type i will say now to select the instance type uh, you uh, because uh, because we will use uh, this uh, we are configuring uh, configuring uh, 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 training instances okay so while the model will uh, maybe uh, uh, while you will training your model then this will be used okay and uh, uh, so uh, for this you have to understand one thing that is the sage maker pricing okay so you can go to this address that is uh, amazon aws dot amazon dot com slash seismaker slash pricing okay here in pricing you can check for uh, maybe you can come down and uh, this is the studio notebook and then you can uh, search for other thing best transfer serverless inferences and everything uh, here you need to understand how much price uh, you will be paying okay so what I am doing over here is uh, instance type I will choose ML uh, let's see uh, ML a T3 large okay why I am choosing ML T3 medium okay or maybe why why I am not choosing ML M5 16 X large uh, why I am not choosing all these blindly first you have to come up over here is uh, ML T3 medium instance uh, is available for 250 hours free. Okay, then you have ML T2 medium instance. Then you have ML T3 medium instance on the one notebook. Okay, so ML T3 medium instance is for free. Uh, ML T3 medium instance. So what I am doing is I will copy copy it from here and I will paste it maybe from uh, up here. Okay, so we will use ML T3 medium instance for training. Okay, so uh, then we have one more option that is uh, volume size okay then we have volume size and that is this always uh, comes in gbs okay uh, so again i will go to amazon stage maker pricing so the volume that is the memory memory it can provide us of 4 gbs but uh, what i am doing is i, I am using only 2, G, 2 gbs okay because i think uh, i have reduced the data significantly to a very uh, a lower amount so we will uh, 2 gb will be more than enough okay then i am running it uh, then uh, what i will do from here is uh, 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 we have to get the execution role and uh, we have to uh, maybe uh, uh, we have to get training image uri for image classification okay which we have to do okay so so what uh, SageMaker do does is SageMaker uh, uh, execution role go for I am role okay so uh, so which uh, uh, I guess uh, you have remember we have made uh, I am role uh, uh, previously we have made it okay that's why that's why if I'll go to Amazon SageMaker and uh, this is the I am user which I am using okay which is uh, uh, having some of the uh, maybe uh, what we can say uh admin level privileges okay so 
first uh, we have to get the execution role okay so for that uh, we use get execution uh, role and after that uh, you have to maybe now i will write uh, uh, training image equals to uh, get images uh, uri and then i will use both or three okay then session then from both or three session and after that i am uh, collecting the region name uh, Region name and then after that image class. Okay. Now I can understand uh, classification, image classification. So uh, what is this? What what this code is all about? Okay. So uh, what we are doing over here is we are trying to get the URI of training image. Okay. Uh, so this uh, URI will be used in uh, training model okay so and that's the thing now uh, I will run it maybe okay the method got image URL has been renamed uh, in phase method so it's just a warning you need you know, to maybe bother about it okay so just uh, leave it the way it is or maybe go to uh, this link and uh, change this thing okay no issues if you don't want to do that like uh, I don't want to do that uh, don't do it uh, it is it will work okay uh, then this training image is just an uh, what is this training image this is just an uh, docker image uh, that contain all necessary code now you might be thinking what is a docker image don't get into that uh, just uh, understand uh, this is a docker image and that will contain all necessary codes libraries frameworks that will be used while training okay uh, then uh, if I'll talk uh, more about this uh, bottle three uh, dot uh, session dot uh, region underscore name so uh, This is the region where we are working. Okay, so if I'll go over here It will collect Mumbai and it will not collect uh, to be precisely Mumbai. It will collect AP South one. Okay, so that uh, that will be the region it will collect and uh, you might be thinking what is this image classification then this is name of repository where image is stored okay so uh, to uh, to to find a repo name maybe you might be thinking how i find this repo name okay uh, so uh, under the training image you can find them uh, but uh, again you might be thinking like uh, where you will get those training image and stuff so no worries what you have to do is you simply have to go to this link that is the image classification ap south one title okay